Hey everybody, so today I have here this nice, I have an M1 MacBook Pro. Oh, it's turning on, oh yes. So, why is it here? It's a very good question. We actually did a liquid spill repair. Um, I'm not sure if we made a video on it or which one it might, might have been. Uh, we have to go back, we do a lot of them, so I'm not really too sure which one it was, if we even made a video about this. But um, we did liquid spill repair for them a few months ago and they actually did come back saying they're having a problem with, uh, with the USB-C ports. So they use this actually with multiple, multiple monitors and they're having a problem displaying this out to um, from USB-C to HDMI via their connection. And uh, yeah, so that's the main problem here. So we want to make sure that, uh, again, all the hardware is good. Let's go ahead and check out the ports real quick just to make sure they connect fine and we don't see really an issue. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, I just want to make sure it at least charges. I believe they said there's no issues with it really charging or anything. And we want to go, oh, okay, you heard that chime, that's a good chime. Okay, we can actually go up here, we see that it is charging 88%. Man, this is really dark, isn't it? Let's go ahead and brighten it. There we go, brighten our day today. All right, uh, we do see that it's charging, we're getting 88%. Um, the voltmeter is also saying that we're getting 20 volts, like 1.59 amps, which is good, so we're not too worried about that. I want to go ahead and check, this is the one they actually did bring in, and um, they did bring in this, this US, BC dongle, which obviously you need for HDMI to do it as well. Let's go ahead and just check it out and see if we get anything. So the next thing I want to test is to see if we're going to go and get anything through USB. So I have just like a regular, I guess this is like a Catalina bootable or something. I want to go ahead and see if it comes up. Okay, they have stuff on the desktop. I don't really want to show the stuff on the desktop, but I did move it over here. This shows our USB, right? That's plugged in, and if I remove it and then plug it back in, Hopefully it'll come up, or I could just probably remove it here, right? Yep. So if I remove that, it's going to pop, you see? And it says you didn't eject correctly. Sorry about that. At least it's ours, so <laughs> we're not too worried. Try not to do that at home, guys. But I just want to show you just to at least show that it's working. And if I even plug in a mouse, let's see. I just have a regular mouse. I'm going to go ahead and plug in on the side here. And you can see we're getting our, see that? We're getting a mouse power. We're getting um, power, everything else. So now let's go ahead and check it to see if we can run it through HDMI and get a display. Uh, I do want to go ahead and check that out. Excuse the angle. But I do have HDMI, and uh, it should at least show something more in the display. I have it hooked up to our tester. Um, there's no display on the tester yet. Didn't recognize it. You can see even the screen didn't even change on the MacBook at all. Okay, I need to cover this off because um, it's, it has his name. So that's his name there. I need to cover it. Um, but it's not showing any display. It's not detecting any display whatsoever. Um, and that's a big problem, right? It's not doing it. Everything else seems to be working. It's getting a charge. It's also getting a USB-C connection. Um, everything seems to be showing well. I did actually go ahead. I took a look at all the hardware inside. I opened it up, took a look at it. USB-C ports look to be pretty good. No issues with any of the components dealing with, with the USB-Cs. This looks to be pretty clean. And it doesn't seem like it's a hardware issue. All right, so what seems to be the problem here? Well, um, I actually did look this up. Uh, I did try another USB dongle, try both the USB-C ports kind of getting the same exact problem all over, over, and over again. So I actually did find something. I looked this up a little bit, spent some time on it, and I did find something that was kind of interesting. If I actually go here, if you go to his About Mac, we do have Mac OS Monterey 12.3. So why is that interesting? Well, I'm really glad you asked because I did look this up and I did see that um, there was actually reported problems about this incident whatsoever. So let's go ahead, go to the screen capture here. I want to show you guys what I found. Uh, this this site's pretty good, Mac Rumors. They do a pretty good job with it. Uh, this is th Thursday at 3.43 a.m. Man, this guy reported his stuff at 3.43 a.m. Just think about that, right? <laughs> I wonder if it's maybe because they're the West Coast, maybe maybe be 12, but still. Man, in the middle of the night, man, you're going to be putting out a, a Mac Rumor at the middle of the night. Anyways, but it shows it's March 24th, and right now we're on uh, March 30th. So this aligns absolutely perfect with what our issue is, right? Absolutely perfect. We can't make this up. So this just happened, and uh, there's, and especially if there is a, a post or an update, that means multiple users are having problems um, with this with this type of issue, right? They wouldn't make just an article just because one person had the problem. They have problems because they're multiple reported users, and it shows that following the latest macOS Monterey 12.3 update, users are reporting several problems when using external monitors, ranging from Macs not detecting displays at all to inaccurate screen output, according to posts on the Apple support and Mac rumors. Uh, form. You can scroll a little bit down, the game public. 
USB C's is one of the no longer detected from USB C's. Okay, Mac OS. And if I actually scroll down here, which is a really interesting one, um, I did read this just a little bit, and I saw that someone actually did. So this actually says the online reports suggest that these issues are not arising when using Apple's new Studio <laughs> Studio Display, but instead with third-party monitors such as those offered by uh, such and such. It's really interesting how the Apple Studio displays actually aren't being affected by this, but it's like everybody else that are probably using third, maybe third-party devices. I don't know. I really want to say that. So good news. We don't have a hardware problem. Uh, bad news is we'll probably have to go back on an operating system, on an older operating system. And obviously you don't always want to do that because the potential security flaws, security risk, and you're not really up to date on it. But if you're having a major issue and this is what you made you, and this is what you mainly need to do, you need to have multiple monitors, you have a work set up, you have lots of things to do, then it's probably definitely something we can consider. We'll give the customer options to see if they want to go back on their OS update to Big Sur, uh, see if they want to back up their data, and then we can downgrade it back to Big Sur, install clean OS, and really just go from there. But at least it's not a hardware problem. That's at least a good thing. It's just more of a software issue. Just letting you guys know, just be aware of these issues. If you're upgrading to 12.3 or you're not sure to upgrade yet, probably just hold off, uh, especially if you use multiple monitors, just to let you guys know, keep you guys informed. And um, obviously stay tuned. We do lots of liquid spill repairs, do data recoveries. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, found this video informative, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.